Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about this little K truck and the big impact it can have on your pumping process. Now today there was a hotfix released and it's supposed to help some of the fluid transfer and fluid selling. So this truck is going to be coming out here shortly and it will hopefully help you and encourage you to use this process even more. Now I did use the Buckle Howdy platform here or chassis and it is supposed to be a K truck. It is a very small platform, especially when compared to the Buckle Rodeo and call it other uh, full size trucks. So not only is it small, but it also is kind of powerful. I believe it has a turbocharged or supercharged eight cylinder, uh, either eight or six cylinder engine. But for this small package, it goes fast enough. Now, the main part is not what is under the hood, but what is on the back here. Now, this is something that I've developed with Sheppy5. As most of you know, he is the one of the admins on my Discord server, a great builder always bounces ideas off me and I bounce ideas off him. And this was one of the great ideas he had. It was to sort of make a mini pump truck and not something that has a permanent fluid um, transfer tank, but rather a system for pumping in and out efficiently. Now this here is actually a gas tank. It's not a fluid or liquid tank rather. So this doesn't transport any liquid. It's only purpose is to facilitate easy transfer of uh, fluids to and from chambers. So whether you are unloading the Alta tanker or transferring fluid otherwise, this is a good little platform to use. And I'm gonna be explaining that here and kind of the process and things that it can do. So follow along. Before you get confused with all the various things and pipes and valves we have here, I'm going to sort of break it down and explain to you the essence of this truck. So you have on this side two winches and on the other side here you also have two winches. Behind those two winches or behind each of the winches is a large pump. So in essence, these ones are only to be used for pumping in. Okay, keep that in mind so you can pump in in four locations and this one back here is for pumping out so the idea is that you can have four connection points on for example a boat so on the alta tanker you could plug it in four times and it will use this to take it out so only this back winch can be used for transferring fluid out okay and i will demonstrate all this but that is in essence how it works now it doesn't stop there you not only have these pumps, you also have this gas tank. And if you look here, this gas tank is full of air and it has a pump to pump in air and it has an impeller pump here connected to the engine that can actually be used to um, pump in air even faster. So I remember, if any of you remember, I made a video explaining the various ways that pumping compressed air into a chamber that you want to transfer fluid from will speed it up. Um, of course, it can break some tanks if you have no release valve, etc, etc. But the idea is that it can work and speed up your process if you so choose. So these buttons on the side here are really only to uh, control the air tank. And this hose here has a specific purpose and that is for air out or air in. Now that actually looks new. It seems that you could now label these anchors, which is an awesome thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and label. Oh, beautiful. Label the winches and label the anchors. I was wondering how this can, um, this c confusing little setup that I may have may confuse some people, but we're gonna have now it fully labeled. That little update came just in the nick of time in trying to explain this truck actually. So I'm quite happy with, with the various uh, labels here. And this is also liquid out. So you could use either the winch or you can use the simple hose out on the back. And those are to transfer liquid out of the system, whereas this is liquid in. So with all that said, I'm gonna spawn up here some tankers and we'll see how this process works. To understand what I'm doing, I'm just going to show this really quickly, but pretty much with this new update and fixing some of the fluids, I actually updated the trailers and added a trap door that can open up and balance out 
everything between the compartments. So in this first compartment, it's currently full of diesel. As you can see here on this dial, the first compartment has full diesel and the rest have zero. If I open this open compartment, so you could see that it starts to transfer it into the next chamber. So this is sort of the way it's going to work and it's going to fill up and eventually this one is going to also fill up too. So you could see that as the water level or diesel level gets to there on the dial, we're also getting some liquid in compartment number one. So we're going to be utilizing this trailer and I'll show you how you can pump between two trailers, say an empty trailer and a full trailer using your pumping truck to expedite the process. I did update both the tanker trailers, the single and the double, and we're going to be testing them out. So there's a couple of different ways you can go about doing this. So each of these trailers has their own in and out capabilities with a pump. But of course, using a pump truck, we don't have to use that system. We could also use these roof mounted um, hose points that don't have a pump attached to them. So the first thing you'll do is you'll note which trailer is full. So in this case, you see this trailer here is full. I'm going to go ahead and open all the compartments because it doesn't really matter. Let them equalize out. So this one is our full one and we want to pump it into here. Now this one here is currently empty. So you can see fully empty. Now we could also turn on open compartments and you could also turn on automatic fluid balancing. And really what's going to happen on both cases is in addition to the doors, it's going to use the pumps to make sure each compartment is equal. Next, we take our variety of hoses and plug it into the one we want to pump from. So in this case, there's all these points. So we could attach one here and one to the first pump. We could attach another to the first pump and climb up and go to the second point. Now, of course, there's even two uh, points on the roof, so you may as well um, use all of them. So even in this case, we could put one on the third chamber, but regardless, you could still put one on any random chamber of your choice here as well, or even if you want, you could put it on the out and then just turn on this pump out. And that's going to maybe double it up because now there's two pumps in succession. So that is on that side of things. On this side of things where we want to pump into, you could take your hose. And in this case, we could plug it either into the uh, winch or you could attach it to this point. Because it's not very far, we could just use this. But what I do think would be okay is, in this case as well, you could plug it into in. And you could also turn on this pump. So the only thing missing now is this pump here. But before we do that, we're also going to take another hose, plug it into this point, and plug it into one of these empty slots. Now that is for the compressed air. Currently, we have 57 atmospheres worth of compressed air in this gas tank. Now you could also turn on your electric pump. You could also turn on the engine and let the truck sort of engine pump even more. And as you can see here, we're increasing the amount of pressure in this tank. So that is great. You could pretty much leave that running. Now, the only thing is that I've not opened any of these valves. So technically this tank is not getting pressurized yet. So what we'll want to do, take a look at these three um, valves. So this one is released compressed air. Obviously you don't want to do that. We don't want to release the air from there, but that's there in case there's a reason you have to empty it out. So we're not going to touch that. Now there's two down here, compressed air to hose. That's obviously the one we want, but I'm just going to talk about the last one here. And that is hose pressure release. So imagine there's a scenario where you don't want to pump in um, the air, but rather you want to depressurize the tank. Because for example, what if this tank doesn't have a release valve? I do believe it does. I believe that on the front side here, yeah, so the pressure is actually going to leave eventually. But imagine we're dealing with a tank that cannot um, remove that pressure. You could actually use this truck, open up this valve, and whatever is attached to this hose will automatically be released into the atmosphere so you don't have to worry about it over pumping. Anyways, I'm going to turn this on. Now we're starting to pressurize this and then I'm going to turn this pump here. And as you can see, the pump pressure shot up. And if we jump over here, 
you can see that we are filling all of these chambers. So this system is obviously best suited when you keep on checking your air level. So right now we have a very high pressure. We have 51 atmospheres in building and we are transferring here at, or, or the system pressure is 60 as well. So if we check here, this is rising on all these points. If we go to our ladder and check on these things here, so this is moving, this is moving, that's our air in, and this is also moving at a slightly less speed. But regardless, that is in essence the idea. So it isn't foolproof, of course, but you could see here that we are able now, one thing that may be worthwhile, if I'm just unplug this for a second, now these things are just transferring. But if you plug it into a part that does not have a um, hose, or does not have a pump, sorry, you can also do it that way. And now it's utilizing the truck and putting in here liquid. So we're no longer limited by the pump here, this pump in. So you can see that seems to be increasing much faster. So it does take some playing around. Of course, you could use a system that has its own built-in pump, or you could use a system that doesn't. I believe if you use a system that doesn't, such as this point up on the roof, which is just a simple um, valve, or rather a simple nozzle. So th there's no pump attached to the other side of this hose. It does go a little faster. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. Now, of course, at some point your uh, air level your air pressure will drop so you can monitor this being the pump master that you are and you can monitor this pump system pressure so once it gets low and stops uh, doing anything you actually could just shut off the valve here and then watch the system regenerate so you can see now we are building up our pressure again and then in theory, this is still pumping here. But when you go and open this up, now we're releasing that again into this tank. And this should all be draining out of here. So that is in essence how to use this little pump truck. I do think it's a great little collaboration between myself and Sheppy. I love the idea behind it and I mean, yeah, we're using four pumps here in this truck, but take a look. Like on this on this tanker, we've already filled up 15,000 liters as we were just making this video. So this is a very good way to fill up and take fluid out of, let's say, the tanker and other large vessels and containers that don't otherwise have um, their own cap capabilities or just have a simple large pump this truck can definitely supplement you for that. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the truck itself slowly drains battery, but not very quickly. So, and I do believe there's a, genera a generator mode as well. So once we get to a certain uh, low battery, it will kick up the RPS and actually charge it up. So this system seems to be uh, quite neat. I do enjoy making creations like this. And if we do check this, we're almost at 20,000 liters here. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy this little uh, buckle howdy K truck, pump truck, just a useful little configuration and as well the trailer uh, updates that I also just released. So thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more. And as always, happy stormworksing everyone.